from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Alan Crow. Yeah, good morning, everybody. Right now, the main issues seem to be just a little bit west of uh, the Tulsa downtown area. Uh, so the eastern areas, the southern areas, in terms of like falling precipitation right now, uh, are going to be okay, at least initially. But you can see on the radar, and again, I've adjusted this because we're looking at mostly drizzle right now and some spotty showers across the southern areas. So this is going to freeze on contact. I don't want to let, let your guard down. This could really cause some roadways to go downhill pretty quickly. So here's Tulsa out to the west, Sepulpa to Olive to Cushing to Yale to Stillwater, mostly drizzle. Um, again, a lot of the roadways have been treated. Crews are out there doing a great job, but I just want you to remain aware because this can sneak up on us here if we're not careful and cause an issue. And we have travel advisories that are underway until noon. East Central Oklahoma, the southern areas, that's the ice storm warning. So the ice accumulation will be ending this morning. We still could pick up an additional glaze on roadways. The far southern areas, we've already had about a tenth to two tenths of an inch of ice. We may pick up just a little bit more before it winds down this morning. So here's Tulsa. This morning, we do have a probability for light freezing rain or drizzle or mist uh, through about the 10 o'clock hour, and then the temperature goes above freezing this afternoon. Even some sunshine and highs would be in the 40s. So once we cross over the 11 to noon hour, the temperature goes above freezing. It will drop below freezing again late tonight and early tomorrow. Seven-day summary without all the numbers. Windy weather on Saturday, windy weather on Monday, but the temperature will be above normal. Normal. Here's our next system for Tuesday and Wednesday. Rain and thunder chances, liquid variety. The winds, they're not going to be very strong today, but we get into Saturday, 20 to 30 mile per hour winds. Monday, 20 to 35 mile per hour winds. And then that storm system that's going to show up kind of in pieces for part of Tuesday, Wednesday, and maybe even Thursday. Right now, that looks to be liquid variety, maybe even some thunderstorms in it. Here's 10 o'clock this morning. Temperature still below freezing, near and south. We still have some spotty shower activity, freezing on contact. The advisories and warnings are still underway. We cross over the lunch hour. Southern Oklahoma, you barely go above freezing. So then this would be liquid variety type shower activity. And take note right through here in northern Oklahoma. Look what happens around Pawhuska and Bartlesville and Coffeyville and eventually near Tulsa. The clouds are trying to thin out. A little bit of sunshine here. Temperatures go up into the upper 40s near Bartlesville. 44 in Tulsa, 35 in McAllister. Still in the 30s across the southern areas. So there's a big range of temperature today. Still pretty chilly for most of us. And then the system finally leaves tonight across far southern Oklahoma. Temperatures tomorrow morning will start down in the 20s. Obviously, we're going to watch for slick spots. Uh, the secondary roads will still have sleet packed roads on them. We'll be below freezing until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. And then by Friday afternoon, sunshine, temperatures into the 40s. And then we keep on moving up here. This big weekend warm up Saturday, the morning low 33 and a high of 57. Saturday, the low of 33 and a high of 62. Monday, if you want to round up close to 70, we won't hit 70, but if you want to round up, it sounds good. <laughs> 68 on Monday. And then we have shower and storm chances Tuesday and Wednesday. Tess, let's not let our guard down this morning. Remain aware if you have drizzle or mist on your windshield, if you're flipping the windshield wiper on, use some caution. All right. Good advice.